So they say, help her. Jesus says, do not throw the bread of the children to the dogs. Who are the dogs? The Gentiles, you and me. Every other human being other than the Jews are dogs and pigs, according to Jesus, or according to your scripture. It says, Jesus says, do not throw that which is holy into dogs. Do not throw pearls before swine, lest they turn and rend you. Who are the dogs and who are the swine? The Gentiles. So he says, do not throw the bread of the children to the dogs. The woman in desperation, her child's life is at stake. She says, Lord, Master, even the dogs have crumbs from the Master's table. So he said, give her the crumbs. Look, this is the scripture. Unfortunately, the scripture is not being quoted. The scripture quote what Jesus said. I'd like to hear what Jesus said. Jesus says not about this supposed idea that you just believe and you be saved. He said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. There's no heaven for you unless you are better than the Jew. And I'm asking, how can you be better than the Jew by not keeping the laws and the commandments? You answer that. Mr. Swaggart, from this Adidas proof that the Bible you hold in your hand is not God's word, what proof can you prove that he's wrong? I mean proof, not just belief. I believe I have proven it beyond the shadow of a doubt tonight that the Word of God is true. And I don't know what more proof that anyone would need. You can read the Bible and not believe it, but the Lord told us to believe it, and we would receive its many, many benefits. If one does not want to believe, irrespective of the proof that, proof that is shown, one still will not believe. The Lord said to one particular individual, if one came back from the dead, he was telling the story there in the 16th chapter of Luke, and the rich man said, send someone from the dead to warn my brothers. If one came from the dead, he wouldn't believe it if he doesn't believe the prophets that are already there. So there is no proof that one can give for unbelief because it will not believe. That's a reason that he said, and I once again quote my favorite verse, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I'll, I'll close with one more statement. Sir, I am proof that this is real, for he has saved my soul. Ahmed Didad, could you quote and give the reference from the glorious Quran stating the holy angel has been corrupted? And if not, then tell us when it was corrupted, by whom, and where exactly is it changed? Mr. Chairman and my dear brethren, you see, I started this talk of mine with some incantation, some recitation. I was not trying to mesmerize or hypnotize you. I was actually uttering the words from the Quran, instructing us, telling us, informing us that the scriptures that the Christians are talking about, the Bible, is their own creation. I repeat what I had said, I read and I'll give you the translation. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. فَوَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِهِمْ Said, woe to them who write the book with their own hands, then say, this is from God. فَوَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِهِمْ ثُمَّ يَكُولُونَ حَازَ مِنْ إِنْدُ اللَّهِ لِيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ ثَمَنًا كَلِيلًا That they may benefit from it some small reward. Like that 15 million dollars net profit they made on the RSV.
15 million is very small compared to eternity, in, compared to God's, you know, goodness, His salvation is nothing, 15 million. So, So, woe to them what their hands do write. And woe to them for what they earn. In other words, I was proving to you all along, actually, I was giving you all a commentary on that Quranic verse without going into details because I knew time was at, uh, very, at a premium. Originally, we had agreed to a format of an hour each and for some mysterious reason, I was robbed of 40, 20 minutes, so I had to cut short everything. I have so much more to give, which I'm now reserving for tomorrow night. So the thing is this now, this was actually a commentary of this situation that this book is written with their own hands. You add in and you take out. You add in and you delete. Look, this is proof enough. The books that you have in your hand is a proof that the books have been changed. You have been changing them. And out of the 24,000 manuscripts, I said, no two are identical. That's a challenge. No two of those manuscripts are identical. Mr. Swaggart, is there any way in the Old Testament that says that Prophet Muhammad will come after Jesus? Thank you. Most every religion tries to find the Bible and somewhere in their teachings and their beliefs. And so does the Quran. It tries to say that it is mentioned in the Bible or Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. But uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. I know you're referring to the book of Deuteronomy, but he's not mentioned. That passage is referring to the Lord Jesus Christ totally and completely. Mohammed is not mentioned anywhere from Genesis to Revelation, period. Ahmed. What do Muslims have to say about the fact that people are healed in Jesus' name? I have no hesitation in accepting this phenomenon, that it can happen. But these things are happening in Hinduism. People are performing miracles in Islam. People